Welcome back to this is Jeffrey Tiefer Tiller to Service Management Leadership. You can tell I'm excited today. Thank you for joining us. Today's video is for leaders. And by leaders, I leaders is a broad leadership and service management is broad. Or am I talking to executive levels? Yes. Process owners? Yes. Process managers? Sure. So today's video anywhere even a process design person would find this interesting i hope so i want to talk about itsm assessments doesn't that sound like fun it is to me and here's why is itsm assessments are like four scums box of chocolates they're all different everybody has their own way that they have developed even if it's loosely based upon cmmi I have my way, other people have their ways, and everybody has their own ways. And so, and it's great to assess your processes, I'd be happy to help you, but here's what I want you to not do. All right, I want you to have regular assessments, whether it's internal or you bring some external person in to regularly assess your processes. What I want you not to do is use different companies. You ask why. Every person who for every group, every met has a different methodology that they use to score you. And if you change on how you're scored each year, they're not going to stack up. And even if they show improvement, it's likely that somebody's blowing smoke up your skirt because they don't have a baseline to show how you've improved. So the reason you want to use the same methodology for, let's say, five years in a row is so you can show how you've improved using that same methodology year over year. Does that sound like, that sounds logical, right? Because can you imagine if we showed different ways that we are, we do anything, if we use different methodologies and different scales and different measurements, it's going to look crazy and it's not going to match up. And so that's why I encourage you to use the same person, the same methodology, and do not accept that, oh, we use CMMI. Everybody uses CMMI. It's just implemented differently, and it's, there is no like standard. Yes, there's TIPA, and I don't want to get into that, that does have their own version, but so does all of the big four accounting professional service company, so do all the ITSM professionals and consultants, so do I. Everybody has their own. And so I encourage you not to jump around and use different people because you will get very different results and it won't be pretty. And so if you want to use an internal one, just use the internal one year over year over year. That's perfectly fine. You don't need to spend the external money if you don't want to or don't think you need to. But do so to try to get consistency in your numbers so you can drive maturity. The, the one thing you gain by using the same one year over year over year is the ability to look at your gaps and put a plan in for continual service improvement. How do I close three gaps this year? That's a great goal, isn't it? To put in your performance metrics. How do I close three gaps in my incident management process. What are the three next gaps I should be closing? How about change in uh, configuration, all the rest? So I hope this is a video for leaders and I want you all to put thought into how are we measuring because you can only improve what you measure. So this is Jeffrey T. Teller. I thank you for joining me today on this short video. Please like or share it, subscribe to the channel, give me some feedback. I thank you for joining us and I hope you have a great day.